Hey, good optometry morning. Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor here. And today I'm talking to you about what's so special about the Zeiss Myovision Pro Lens and why it might be a good choice for your child with myopia. And we are starting right now. All right, so the Myovision lens is a spectacle lens that was designed by Zeiss, and it's the first lens that was designed for myopia control. So I have a more comprehensive video on the all of myopia management, and if you want to check that out, I'll put a link to it up in the corner here. So the causes of myopia aren't fully understood, but we know that there's definitely a genetic component, but there's also environmental factors that there's a lot of research being done on. So there are a few theories on what causes the environmental factors for myopia progression. And one of them is called the peripheral defocus theory or the peripheral blur theory. So the peripheral defocus theory in the progression of myopia has to do with how lenses focus images on the peripheral retina. So traditional lenses focus images on the center of the retina, but not in the peripheral parts of the retina. Now this defocus in the peripheral retina is thought to have caused the stimulus for the eye to continue growing and increase myopia. So this has led to the idea that to stop myopia from progressing, one needs to correct not just the central or the foveal vision, but also the peripheral part of the retina. So heads up, for the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna get into a little bit of the technical stuff of this lens, but bear with me because after that, I'm gonna talk about whether this lens actually works and some of the cost of this lens. Okay, so the Zeiss Myovision lens was the first lens introduced to the market to correct myopia. So it was introduced in about 2010. This lens was produced as a semi-finished lens blank and the complex myopia control parts of the lens were on the front of the lens and the prescription and the astigmatism was put onto the back part of the lens. In 2018, Zeiss upgraded this lens, and now it's called the Zeiss Myovision Pro Lens. So the changes that they've made of this lens is that it's now a freeform lens. So what that means is that they can take the complex myopia control parts of the lens and the prescription, and they can design that all on the back part of the lens. It also means they can increase the number of materials that it's available on. So it's available on index of refractions from 1.5 up to 1.67. And what it also means is they can customize and optimize that prescription so that it's designed for not only the frame and your size of your frame, but how your frame sits on your particular face. All right, so this lens has a center optical zone which focuses images on the fovea or the central vision. In the peripheral parts of the lens, they have an asymmetrical pattern which the lens focuses on the peripheral part of the retina rather than the central part of the retina. And it varies from patient to patient based on the fit of your frame and your prescription. But generally, the peripheral defocus starts at about 30 degrees rotation horizontally and inferiorly, and about 20 degrees superiorly. And as you start to get in the peripheral areas of defocus, the power will gradually change and it can reach a maximum of about plus 3.75 diopters of change. So it's important to understand those technical aspects of the lens because when you're looking through the center part of the lens, that lens is working optimally. But when you start to look up and to the different parts and to the different corners of your lens, then the image will no longer be focused on your fovea and the image will tend to be a little bit soft focus and a little bit blurred. And that's normal and expected for this lens. Okay, so the Zeiss Myovision Pro comes in actually two designs, the standard design and the individual design. So if you choose the standard design, it will design the lens with the default measurements and sizes for an average six to 12 year old child on, and how a frame fits on that child. But if you want a really customized lens, you can choose the individual design of this lens. And then you can specify the pantoscopic tilt, the frame wrap, the vertex distance, the PD, the prescription, the height, and every single measurement to customize that fit of that lens for that frame and that child. So does this lens even work at all? In 2010, Zeiss did a study on about 200 children aged six to 12 years old, and they tried to compare if this lens reduced myopia pr progression compared to a standard lens. And so what the study showed in these 200 kids that tried this lens for about a year was that there was about a 0.25 diopter decrease in the myopia progression on the kids that wore the myovision lens versus the standard lens. Now it's important to note that this difference was not considered statistically significant. So this could mean that that difference was just by chance or what it could mean is that they just didn't look at enough kids to have statistical significance. However, when they took a subgroup in this 200 kids of kids that had myopic parents, it showed that there was a 0.29 diopter difference compared to a standard lens, and that was statistically significant. So what this study tells us is that there's a small effect in myopia control for this lens, in particular with kids that have myopic parents. All right, so in a moment, I'm gonna get into the cost of this lens, but before I forget, 
If you have learned anything in this video new about the MyoVision Pro lens, please hit the like button down below because that will help tell YouTube of the value of this video. So how much does this lens cost? Now the cost will vary from clinic to clinic and, and it certainly will depend on what index of refraction and material that you use in this lens, but you can generally expect to spend about $400 to $600 for these lenses. Now compared to a standard lens with equivalent quality of coatings as the Zeiss coatings, a standard lens would cost probably about two to four hundred dollars. All right, so for the control of myopia progression, peripheral defocus spectacle lenses like the Zeiss Myovision Pro lenses are not as effective as peripheral defocus contact lenses or atropine eye drops. However, they are a very, very important tool in our myopia control toolbox. So even if you are wearing contact lenses or using atropine eye drops, your child is still going to need to wear eyeglasses. And so I would recommend that you look at a peripheral defocus lens like the Zeiss Myovision Pro lens because that will help contribute to the effect of the myopia control. All right, so if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you can get more videos just like this one. And with that, have a great optometry day.